This is the brand new VW T6.1 California Beach model. At Road Surfer, we like to call it the Beach Hostel Deluxe. Why deluxe? Well, it has a lot of space inside. Five people can join in on this road trip. You can even cook inside this van. As you can see here, you also have a refrigerator. To get started, we will first show you how to fold out the roof bed up top. To open your roof bed, first slide the slats backwards and then you will see the black bar that you have to push upwards. To do this, you have to loosen these buckles on both sides. Be sure to open up this door here. Attention, very important. Before you extend the roof, make sure that at least one window or door is open for pressure equalization. Next, push the bar up with a little force. Up top, you not only have a super comfortable mattress for two people, but you also have mosquito screens on all sides. It's possible to completely open the window here and fully enjoy your view from bed. As you can see here, you have fly screens on all sides. That way you can ventilate the van during the day or night and be sure you won't get bit. Right here, you even have a 12 volt socket where you can charge your mobile phone. There are also two LED lights. They can even be dimmed. If you hold down this switch a little, they get brighter or darker. On both sides, of course. Here, you have a very romantic reading light for the evening time. Also, to ensure that you sleep like a king, you have a slatted plate bed frame. It's super comfortable. Just like being at home in your bed. It is very important when climbing down that you step on the seat and not on the armrests. By folding up the roof, you can make the interior even bigger and can stand comfortably to cook or to change. You can even turn the two front seats around. To do this, pull the seat forward a bit and make sure that the backrest is in a vertical position. Be sure to open the side door so that you can get around easily and the door does not get scratched. Next, you have a lever down here that you pull and that allows you to easily turn the seat around. Of course, this works the same on both sides. Here inside, you have a compressor cool box. A lot can fit in there. You can use the cool box when you are driving or when you're relaxing at a campsite, so long as it is plugged in. Brand new in the Beach Hostel Deluxe is a hot plate for cooking. It is cleverly hidden here. Simply pull it out, open this flap here, and you can cook your coffee or pasta. Here you have some extra space to cut food or to set something down. We'll show you now where your gas bottle is. It's hidden here in the side wall. Turn the wheel like this, and then you have gas for your stovetop. It is very important that you turn the gas bottle off again after cooking so that you do not accidentally have gas in your van. After that, you can close the hatch again like this. You have various sockets and charging options throughout the bus. For example, here is a 12 volt socket that can be used while driving or to connect your cell phone with the USB connection. Of course, there are also multiple USB ports in the bus, such as the one next to the passenger seat. You can use the ones that are up front while driving to charge your devices. The sockets in the back of the bus can be used when you are connected to the external electricity, a 230 volt socket. You can also connect normal electrical devices, such as a kettle or a hairdryer. Up here, you still have a socket. This socket runs on the second battery. It doesn't have that much power, but is enough to charge a cell phone or connect a laptop. If you plan to connect to the electricity at the campsite, you'll need this cable that can be found here behind the back seat. Just take that out of the bus with you and we'll show you where to plug it into the bus. There's a hatch back here. 
Right here, you can connect the power cable to the power grid at the campsite and charge up your second battery and use the electricity sockets. If you're wondering where to fill up, the fuel cap is at the front. Once you open up the driver's door, you will find the fuel inlet and this is where the diesel goes in. There is also an AdBlue tank right next to it. AdBlue is needed approximately every 10,000 kilometers and can be found at almost every petrol station. When more AdBlue is needed, there will be a warning light displayed on the dashboard right here. Of course, you also have an awning on your Beach Hostel Deluxe. To extend it, you need a crank, and you can find it here in the trunk. Here you can also see how much storage space you have to load luggage. The bench is now pushed all the way to the front, and there's a lot of space here. Here is the awning pole and the crank. If you want to set up the awning, make sure that the side door is closed. The crank goes in here, and you can see this sticker. Please do not use the awning when it is raining or windy, because it could break relatively quickly. It is a nice weather awning, so to speak, and provides you shade when it's sunny out. To extend the awning, simply turn the crank here until it comes out about half a meter. You'll find the legs of the awning under the flap, which, if you push them inwards a bit, they will come out. You can put your foot on this little hook down here and push the pole down and the awning upwards. Release this lever here. And if it makes a crack sound when doing this, don't worry, it's normal. This is how you hook them in. Do the same here on this side with this leg. Click once again and then the leg comes out. And now you can pull the legs forward a little bit at a time and keep cranking, always alternating. Boom, your awning is already up. Now, of course, we need a table and chairs. The table is in here and has been cleverly built into the side door to save space. To remove it, just click here and it will come right out already built and ready to be set up inside or outside your van. If you're eating outside, you can easily take the kitchenette with you, and with bad weather, you can set your table up inside. To set it up inside, use this bar, and lift the table up here, and wrap the hooks around the bar like this. Then fold the two table legs down, and you can enjoy your meal inside. But since the sun is shining, we prefer to take it outside. Without a doubt, we have matching chairs on board. You'll find them here in the back of the tailgate, quite cleverly hidden. Everything has been carefully thought out for a space-saving camping trip. Pull out the chairs and you can make it nice and cozy here under the awning. Next, we will show you a few different storage compartments in the interior of the van. Road Surfer has provided you with a few essentials. For example, these drive-up wedges, which you can push under the tires if you're parked crooked, to help level you out. You also have three drawers here. Here you will find a power cable to connect your van to electricity at the campsite. Here in the middle, you will also find a water canister, which every camper knows you need. You can also find a hand brush and blackout curtains for the windows. We'll show you in just a moment how to use and attach these. But first, we'll show you how to fold out your big bed in the back. First, loosen the headrests because we want to be able to fold down the rear seat. After that, pull the rear seat forward by using this black loop here. After you pull on it once, move the back seat forward to about the middle of the van. Right here you have another flap. 
go ahead and pull on it. Fold the back seat backwards. And finally, you can fold out your mattress. Your large bed is ready to sleep up to three people, preferably two adults and a child. You will find it is super soft and comfortable. Amazingly, you can darken the entire room with blinds for every window. You can make yourself seriously comfortable in here. Plus, if you want to read something in the evening or just want to have light, there are a few small lights located all around the bus. There in the back is also an LED light, which can be dimmed. For the two front windows, you have these curtains here. They connect with magnets and you just click them right on. Now, all that is left are the front windows. And for this, you have two blinds up front. Carefully and slowly, you can pull them out from right to left. Fold the mirror up and fold down these devices here so you can click the blinds in. Once again, slowly and carefully, pull it out the other side and click. Please roll them back in just as carefully because they're a little bit sensitive. Of course, you can fold the bed back together just as quickly as you unfolded it. To do this, simply push the mattress back here and then pull this lever again. The bench goes right back in again. To close the top of the roof again, it is very important that you have nothing lying on top. No sleeping bag, no cuddly toy, no book, nothing. Everything must truly be cleared out. It is also important that you have a window or a door open for pressure equalization. Then you just pull here, first fold down here, of course, and then just pull here on the tab. Then the rod will come towards you. When the bar is down, pull it a bit closer so that the roof is really closed. Then you click it in here behind the fabric. Make sure that the fabric is not stuck in between. Then hook the loop back in here and be sure to do this on both sides. Lastly, click the hooks back in and tuck the fabric in a bit so that you can pull the slats forward again. Up front here, you have your onboard computer. If you simply click on it, it will turn on, and you can already see the bus here. Here you can see how full the battery is. This is the second battery and provides energy to everything in the back of the bus. For example, your compressor, refrigerator, or electricity sockets for charging your cell phone. For all these things, you need the second battery. You can see that it is still relatively full. Only two bars are gone and yet it still holds 18 hours and 50 minutes of charge. You can charge it by plugging the van into the power supply at the campsite or while driving. If you turn the wheel further, you will see more menu options. Here, for example, is the parking heater. If you click on it, you can go to permanent heating here. If it is cool at night, you can activate the parking heater here and then select different levels from 1 to 10. If we turn it on, it will run until you turn it off again or until you set your timer. You can see from this symbol that the parking heater is running. In the same way, you can deactivate the heater again and it will turn off. If you click through the menu, you can see a few other functions here. We find this here quite interesting. Your camping bus has a built-in spirit level that allows you to see whether the bus is straight or if you should push some wedges underneath the wheels to ensure a great night's sleep. Here we even have an alarm clock that you can set or a timer if you want to cook eggs. If you continue turning the wheel, you can select different lights in the van. You can see the individual lights in the bus and you can select them individually via the onboard computer and even dim them and then switch the onboard computer off again.